Next, we've got this clip here, which features a person calling in, giving Chris D'Elia some praise and fan love, and then Chris D'Elia attempting to kind of riff and Brendan failing spectacularly to rift. And this kind of is, again, representative, I feel like, in general, of why these pods sometimes don't work with Brendan. Um, I've always said I feel like this show could work if he maybe took a bit of a backseat and kind of acted as the sort of host, essentially doing what the job, doing the kind of the job of what Chin and the other guy does with the papers, where you, they kind of, he kind of asks the questions or sets up the topics as a host and then has... Eric Griffin and Chris kind of riffing and then he can kind of jump in here and there. But because he sits in the middle like the the like the fucking king and he's the one in charge, um, it kind of makes it seem like he's on level playing field with the other guys when he's not. He's not as funny as them. He's not as experienced as them. He doesn't riff as well. And it just kind of breaks up the flow because they look at him to kind of continue to riff because they're sitting in that kind of weird U-shape. So I think if Brendan actually sat where Eric was and Eric was sat where Brendan was, the show would actually flow better. I honestly think that. Um, but hey, what do I know? You know? <laughs> uh, I sent in a video. Okay. This is him. you. What's up, guys? This is Jack. Uh, I have a Am I Wrong for that for you. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but supposedly the government is in possession of some sort of intact UFO. Yeah. They're also in possession of my uncle, but that never made the news. Uh, anyways, personally, I don't really care about the intact UFO. Uh, am I wrong for that? Mm. And also, Chris, I just wanted to let you know that uh, me and my girlfriend went to a show of yours in Seattle a couple months ago, and it was by far, hands down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? People saying in the chat that Chin changed his name from Chin Su to Chin, as in C H I N. Fuck off. That can't be true. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> Big up, JC. Calling him Chin is like if we started calling Son Hung Min Sun because we have CTE. His name is Jin Su, but Brenda couldn't remember it. Whoa, I didn't know that. Big up, JC, for the 5 Super Chat. That is an incredible bit of lore. I had no idea. I legitimately thought Chin's real name, I saw Chin's name was Chin. I didn't think it was Chin Su. Jinsu, sorry. That makes a lot more sense because Chin is not... What's Chin have to do with anything? Like, Chin is also sounds like it's short for, like, him trying to say chink or something. But he's not Chinese. And also, that's a racial slur, no? Like, <laughs> what? It's a good point. Why did he call him so... He couldn't remember how to say Jin. So he said Chin. And sometimes... Have you seen the clip of him... Nearly saying the, the racial slur that I said, which I shouldn't have said. Have you seen that? Like, Brendan nearly calls him that one time. <laughs> Shit, he couldn't remember. His, so he got him to change his name. He then broke his neck and didn't give and didn't pay for his health, you know, um, his health costs and whatever, maybe. Left him kind of crooked. <laughs> and then he's got him fucking uploading files when he's out camping and shit. He's out on a date. He's oh my god, man, that's incredible. I didn't know that. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. I didn't know. That. Um, uh, one of the best shows I've ever been to, if not the best. So wow, just want to thank you for wow. a wonderful thank evening you. for my girlfriend Have you seen and Blue I. Man group? And, uh, gang, gang, buzz, buzz, a woo woo. Have, Have you seen, seen David Guetta? Have you seen Blue Man Group? <laughs> um, what if he was like, yeah, it's hands down best show I've ever seen, except for once I saw Blue Man Group and the way they fucking fire marshmallows into their mouth. <laughs> was uh, probably the best be. thing I've ever seen. I would be like, oh, his opinion doesn't matter. Um, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. that. Um, yeah, I'm with this dude. Like, what am I going to do? You know? If we find out that they have aliens. But that's what I'm saying. What am I going to do? What can I do either way? No, nothing, dude. What yeah, can when you, you look do? At that way. When so you it's like, that way. I, I understand. Because here's the thing. I'm the kind of guy that, like, the government's like, some people are like, we need to know everything about what the government is. They're hiding things. Hi hey, hide stuff from me. <laughs> yeah. Hide stuff from me. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, you're a cuck. That's fine. No, I'm not a cuck. No, we need people like you. No, yeah. I'm no, not hey, a cuck. Hey, I don't... put your mask on. No, I don't. No, 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 put your mask on for you. But the thing is. <laughs> put the mask on. I, I just, I don't, put your mask I don't need on. to know everything. You don't. Put yeah. your mask on. Okay, so, all right. Say. So, Mr. Fucking, I need to know everything. Say you know everything the government is hiding. Which yeah. would be crazy. Thought. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Now what? What are you gonna do, huh? What are you? 
you big stupid oaf. What are you going to do? Why not wearing a mask and get vaccinated? The lack of being able to riff is just atrocious, isn't it? Chris is trying his best to rescue this fucking dog shit awful topic, trying to make it somewhat funny. And then Brenda just sits there and tries to like, I don't know, participate, throws him something, a frozen little bone with a big stupid oath comment. And come on, give me something. You don't get anything. You just get this look away trying to get someone's attention to save me. Like, come on, do something. Bat each other. Like, do something. Gather your resources. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing happens. Just whatever's happening here. And I can't get past whoever mentioned it. Maybe it's Uche or somebody else about the fucking amount of fucking cups and bottles and shit on the table. Like, enough shit. Like, how much stuff do you need? Like, all the little buttons and stuff. It's just so distracting. Just have the table clear. Talk about what you want to talk about and then just get it over with. But the lack of riffing and whatnot is just really odd, personally. Um, the lack of being able to kind of comedically just, like, you know, bust each other's balls and stuff. But like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with the seating arrangement. I think because Brendan sat here, it kind of feels like he's meant to be part of the kind of fun, right? He's meant, to, but he's not. He's not that funny. So I think if Brendan sat over here and Eric sat here, they two could kind of bounce off each other more and Brendan would be like more like the host and it would probably flow better. I honestly believe that. Like he just changes the seating plan and you know Brendan's a bit redacted and can't read anyway but just get him to kind of maybe lob up a couple of topics here and there that would actually work as a flow of the show I think now at the moment he's too integral to it to make it make sense he's too clunky and just slow and doesn't get stuff to be honest so that's the only issue I think at play here personally but again you know I'm a redact myself so what do I know and who should I be telling when it comes to this sort of stuff